full stanza, what can we expect from Muller? Well, we have all to play for on Saturday because top spot is the objective. Because when you get top spot in the zone, you play second place on the next section. So to avoid Jamaica College in the semi-final should be an objective of ours because I know they are equally good. So you really want to get the second place team on that particular section. But anybody come on the day, I think Mona can adjust, Mona can get it. I believe in my team. I think we're as good as anyone in the competition. And I think on our day, we can actually put in a five-star performance. If everything click and we're firing on all cylinders. Coach, the faithful of St. Andrew Technical might have an issue with that statement that you just made. Uh, well, Saint Andrew. Well, are, you, are you predicting that Jay's stats have already lost on the weekend? Well, I'm not making any predictions really. I say anybody come, Mona is ready. So if we get St. George's, if, no, if we get Jamaica College, if we get St. Andrew Technical on the next section, whoever come, Mona is actually ready for them. We're not actually trying to avoid anybody at this stage. So anybody come, I think Mona can ad adapt and adjust. And tactically, I think we're miles ahead of the, of the field. So we can adjust to anyone, actually. All right. Let's give me a name for the record, please. Winston Taylor. Um, yes, come on. Zane would have had an outstanding performance, scored a, a goal that might be marred in controversy. Speak to us about that goal, you know, considering that it may or may not have been an offside goal. An offside? Yeah. Why you label it an offside goal, really? Well, based, based on the footage, it seems as though um, Denzel, Denzel Washington, Washington Jr. Yeah. would have obstructed goalkeeper's view. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the referee are on the field to do a job and if the referee signal goal that's what we're working with since the commencement of the second round i think quite a few calls have been going against mona high school so it's it's a part of the game when you get one in your favor so i'm really elated and i'm really glad that the boys actually come out here and get the result to advance the semi-final of the manning cup for the first time in the school's history because our support was second to none on the day and early up in the season, they actually question if Mona could full stadium East. I think if you really take a look in the stands, the amount of Mona, Mona students you saw today, it was really good in terms of crowd support. And I think that was our 13th man on the day. All right, coach, this is that sports TV would have awarded the man of the match to Akeem Bernard today because we believe he was absolutely outstanding. Speak to us about his performance. I think Akeem is the best keeper in the island. I've been saying that for quite a, quite a long time. Um, he has size, distribution, one thing Akeem can work on really is command in the 18 yards. But apart from that, he's an excellent shot stopper, he can do everything. And if you ever witness him kick a goal kick, he can actually done the pitch, which, whichever field you're on. He can actually pump that goal kick right to the 18 yards. So that's a weapon that we actually utilize throughout the course of the season. He's an excellent performer. Today, you guys, with this win, secured qualification to the Champions Cup. First of all, speak to us about how you feel to be involved in such an illustrious competition and speak to us about your expectations for Mona High School in said competition. Well, if you have been tracking the program over the last three to four years, um, this was a long time coming. We have been knocking on the door, so it's glad, I'm glad that we can actually make this, this step because this step now actually shows that Mona belong among the elites. So the pundits, the fans and all the lovers of schoolboy football have been saying Mona this and that, Mona that. But the thing about it now, we actually solidify our place in schoolboy football now. Mona is a team or a force to be reckoned with, so nobody will sleep on Mona name ever again. I think this is a step in the right direction. And you say I disrespected stats earlier, but stats is... I really admire stats program from a distance because if you you have been following schoolboy football, the stats program have been making it to the semi-finals annually. It's not stats first rodeo, so I don't want to sound like I am trying to get a matchup against stats because on the day if you don't turn up, stats can actually beat you. So no one is easy. No, you don't want to sleep on anybody right now, but. The aim on Saturday is actually three points. All right, speak to us about how it felt to be commanding your own technical era for the first <laughs> time this season. Speak to us about that experience. No, we have been cheering the touchline interchangeably because in the Campadon, I actually masterminded the Campadon 9-2. So it's not a first. And on Saturday, 
um, Craig got the red card when it was 2-0. Yeah. So that was actually a taste. So it's, this wasn't my actual first taste of the touchline. And I've been manning the touchline in U16. I've, I'm a former Money Cup coach. Huh? So it's not my first rodeo with Mona. All right, coach. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Yeah, Congratulations man. again. Course, man. Yeah.